Hey fam, what's up? How are you doing? Hope you're good. So this video was sent to me on Instagram. It's about a couple of white bikers that were being denied passage through a village by the inhabitants of the village. So I'm just going to show you guys the clip and we'll be back to talk about it. You you know, when I first saw this, the first thing that came to mind was go back to Africa, go back to Africa. Well, now you go back to Europe, okay, or wherever the hell you came from. <laughs> I could not stop laughing. It was hilarious. You know, the way these people carry their privilege with them everywhere they go, it's it's baffling and how they cannot take no for an answer just look at them standing there i mean they said no i can feel the energy from here i don't understand the language you're speaking i don't know where this village is or what country this is but i can feel the energy like they don't want you there and you're just standing looking like dog we swallow bone we don't hook it truth like can you leave i can swear that this reaction they did not see it coming <laughs> They never would have thought in a million years. Like, not everybody's into your whiteness. Not everybody's, not everybody bad to you like that. Not everybody's fascinated by you. You need, these people need to understand it. They need to understand it. <laughs> Guy, the thing suits me for body. I don't feel like I swear to God, man. See, I'm not joking. Eh? I think if we check these people's DNA, we would see in there inability to accept no it's somewhere in the dna you cannot convince me <laughs> you cannot convince me that if we check the dna of these people we would not see that inability to accept no somewhere in there in the dna chain it's there it's there i'm telling you see, take my word believe me i will not lie to you i'm serious they should let you through so that tomorrow you will say you discovered the land <laughs> You're bugging, man. Once beating twice shy. Once beating twice shy. You know, from the bottom of my heart, I wish we were like this from the very beginning. From the very beginning, I wish we were never nice to these people. I wish we were never opening our teeth and smiling and kind and accepting to, towards them. Because we will not be here. All the things that happened would not have happened if we were not nice. We're just two nines and we let these people in. I wish we're like the Ethiopians. The Ethiopians saw these people for what they are from the very beginning. For those of you who don't know, the Ethiopians were never colonized because they saw through these people. I wish we did as well. I wish we did. Shout out to my Ethiopian brothers and sisters. Shout out to Ethiopia. Shout out to the Ethiopian ancestors. Now them Biko. Now Ona Biko Ona Gessens gone. I swear to God. See, I'm just going to put a clip up right now. I want you guys to see it, okay? It's, um, it has to do with Ethiopia and so you understand the Ethiopians, okay? Oh, don't you love white saviors? Let me tell you a little story. Hun. When I was a kid, I spent many summers in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And one particular summer, the house next door was being rented by two missionaries, very nice people. And they wanted to take an eight-day trip to Lalibala, Ethiopia. And save the people save these primitive savages and convert them to the right way lalibala is a holy site eight days passed by they never came back it's like they disappeared two weeks after they're supposed to come back someone came from the church to collect their belongings mm -hmm. While they were collecting their belongings, the landlord had a little chat with a translator. After they left, the landlord came over to gossip with my family. I listened in. Get this. Here's what happened. These two missionaries never made it to their final destinations. They stopped by a village with some savages to be saved. They told these savages that their 1,000-year-old Bible is satanic and wrong. And they gave them an edited Bible. You know what these savages did? They beat them. They sent them to the hospital. I don't know if they made it. But you know, they're savages. Oh dear, don't let these stories scare you. Times have changed. We need people to do God's work. There is less missionaries disappearing right now.
But you know what I find strange? That there is more missionaries now coming into Ethiopia as America is discussing sanctions against Ethiopia. Weird, huh? Mm hmm. beginning the Ethiopians did not have time to be opening teeth with these people they don't have that time if you misbehave they will give you back to back how you deserve it if you mash line anyhow they go cut your leg if you miss yarn they go come out some of your teeth if you do anyhow you go see anyhow that is how the Ethiopians roll man and I wish we roll like that too from the very beginning from the very beginning, go on. I wish I still have guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Nigerian in me is just coming out in this video. I'm, I'm so sorry. A lot of you might not understand the slangs I'm putting right now. But see, my bottom line is they don't joke. That's what I'm saying. The Ethiopians did not joke then. They don't joke now. They will not joke tomorrow. And I wish that's how we were. Okay. And this is why white privilege gets on my freaking nerves. You just cannot ride your bike through these people's sacred lands. Who do you think you are? And these be the same type of people who see black little kids riding their bikes through their neighborhoods and quit to call the police saying that there are people that are in this neighborhood that's not supposed to be. Some native areas don't like to be around Western culture. You coming around with your bikes riding through their lands, you don't know who you're offending. Leave these people alone, please, and stay in your areas that y'all have already colonized. Stop going over there messing with these people. Those areas are not animal exhibits that you can go just explore and do what you want. Leave the people alone, please. The audacity and big audacity of these people that makes them feel they can go anywhere they want at any time and do anything they want to do. <laughs> you can't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not, not around here, okay? Sometime last year, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there was this clip that was going around. Happened here in Nigeria. So Mr. No Color came by. <laughs> this happened in a gas station by the way mr no color came by and then mr no color decided that he was going to you know mess up big time he he really effed up needless to say his f up was treated <laughs> by some very good you know men with color <laughs> Mr. No Color left with some color because there was purple, there was red, there was blue. <laughs> they did him a favor, okay? He came pale and with no color and he left with color. Like, he should have been thanking those men, in my opinion. <laughs> See, this is not me promoting violence or anything. But courtesy demands that when you are in someone's place, you know your place. You understand? You cannot come to my house and then you make me uncomfortable. You belittle me. You go chop smoke. You understand? We go to your country. You belittle and treat us like trash. Then somehow you think you can come to our country and do the exact same thing. Is hell located in your brain or what? If you don't think that you have a problem upstairs, like what is wrong with you? Again, this is not me promoting violence or anything. When you go to someone's place, respect them. If they don't want you around, they don't want you around. If you come and you are respectful, Africans are nice people. They will not have problem with you. But when you come and you want to not be doing like kitchen ants, you are doing anyhow. <laughs> they will pour you sniper. See, they will pour you sniper. Oh, don't say not tell you. Hey. That's it for this video, guys. Here, I had a good laugh. I hope you did too. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you down below. <laughs>